My name is Dr. Nev Kujindric, and as Dean, it is my pleasure, along with Dr. Rabin Bissasur, Associate Vice President of Research and Dean of Graduate Studies, to host this virtual presentation for graduates of the Faculty of Arts and for graduates of the Master in Global Affairs program. I would like to begin by acknowledging that the University of Prince Edward Island is located in Epicwick, the Mi'kmaq name for the area now known as Prince Edward Island, and the traditional unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people of this region. We will now proceed with the granting of certificates, diplomas, and degrees for the classes of 2020 and 2021. It is my honor to introduce the Chancellor to the University, the Honorable Captain Kalpak. As Chancellor of the University of Prince Edward Island, it is an honor to participate in convocation in this online presentation of graduates for the classes of 2020 and 2021. I am very proud of our island university, which excels in educating well-rounded students who are equipped with the knowledge and skills to assume their place in the greater world. Students at UPEI come from Prince Edward Island, every province and territory in Canada, as well as 94 countries around the world. Regardless of where you're from and where you are living right now, I hope that your experience at UPEI was a positive and fulfilling one, and that you'll wear your panther pride wherever your path may lead you. While today is not the convocation we would have hoped for, I believe it is even more significant because you have completed your degree under circumstances the most difficult the world has known since the Second World War. Each of you has shown fortitude that has strengthened your character and will make you empathetic and compassionate global leaders and citizens. For that, I offer each of you my heartfelt congratulations. I regret that the social aspect of your university experience was so altered because of the pandemic. I too have felt the loss of being able to interact and socialize on campus. However, thank you for following the rules and keeping the university, the island community, and your community is safe. There are many proud parents, extended family, and friends who are sharing this special day with you. To them, I extend my thanks for the supportive roles they have played in assisting you, our graduates, reach this milestone. I also want to commend the superior commitment, creativity of our faculty, administrators, and staff who under the strong leadership of the president, vice presidents, and deans have ensured classes could continue during the pandemic so that degrees, certificates, and diplomas could be granted. I sincerely thank all of you for this collective effort. I wish all of our graduates the very best as you embrace the next step of your life's journey. It is certified by the Senate of the University I hereby award each of you the certificate, diploma, or degree you have earned from the University of Prince Edward Island with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Again, graduates, my congratulations. Thank you, Madam Chancellor. We'll begin with the presentation of graduates from the class of 2020. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you in the class of 2020 those students whose names shall be announced individually and whose qualifications have been approved by the Senate for the Bachelor of Applied Arts in Journalism, Bachelor in Arts, Bachelor of Arts Honors, Bachelor of Integrated Studies, and Bachelor of Music. For the degree of Bachelor of Integrated Studies, a. Bradshaw Campbell 
Christian Gallant Jennifer Marie Hart M. Roxanne Larter Heather Danielle McLean D. Robert McNutt Christine Laura Mallet John Andrew Wilson Stephanie Elisa Young For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Wendy Chidinma Afoakelu Alexander Orion McIsaac Rachel Al Mayala Abdullah Alazmi Tanya Marie Knockwood Fawaz Abiola Apalara Chinenye Azubike Okoro Victoria Lynn Barber Caitlin Marie Bickham Keyshawn De Niro Bonami Sage Boshuis Emma Kathleen Bradley Aaron James Brown Jessica Brown Michelle Fabienne Boob Jessica Violet Campbell Brody Eloise Casata Lindsay Erin Charlton Hui Chen Heather Marie Clark Ellen Marie Plo Jonathan Ryan Constable Holly Joan Coombs Alessandra Corno Rachel Marie Creamer Chanel Dawn Crosby Kadria Maria Ann Davis Emma Doucette Simon Nicholas Driscoll Sunan Fang Alyssa Nicole Ferguson John Ryan Francis Nicholas Robert Joseph Goody Alyssa Gillespie Liam Joseph Guzzo Christian William Rod Hansen Nicole Kathleen Grace Mond Mackenzie Hope Brandon David Hughes Abigail Skye 
Hurley, Devernica Silvana Jackson, Marin Alyssa J. Favor Tumini Jumbo. John Franklin Kalesi. Alicia Kristen Kennedy Rashid. Laura Lee Kenny. Hannah Jane Hillary Keowen. Taylor Catherine Kempton. Huijin Li. Li Fui Lim. Brooke Lund. Morgan Page McDonald. D. Ryan McEwen. Rebecca Lynn McLeod. Allison James McPhee. Matthew Lloyd Marchbank. Emma Elizabeth Martinet. Caitlin Marie Smith. Fallon Ann Mawinney. Kira J. Mayhew. Amanda Elizabeth Mellish. Samuel Midkiff. Elmira Mogimi. Rebecca Marie Mullen. Jenny Nicole Much. Shalom Chidima Nadi. Kennedy Iheana Nuwaogazi Awuja. Katerina Oram. Henry Clifford Orford. Julia Ann Willett. Corey Lee Jill Parker. Kendra Jane Pigeon. Joshua Stephen Pugsley. Alexia Dora Anise Rich. Jacob Douglas Herman Rolidge. Courtney Marie Sark. Kayla Marjorie Shute. Yuki Seguro. Seyede Vala Sharif. Madeline Beatrice Shea. Alana Estelle. Shoemaker 
Riley Elise Spence. Sarah Steele. Sayaka Takizawa. Jolowin Tisa Tamula. Molly Margaret Nicole Trainer. Brandon Reed Roy Van Tassel. Bren Kayla Brianne Walker. Allison May Warren. Jadine Michelle Webb. Mark Weeb. Jacqueline Marie Weidmer. Wenjun Xiong. Jianfeng Shu. Aisha Chanel Angelique Young. Shuo Yuan. Jian Zhang Zhu. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Honors. Emily Cecilia Browning. Connor Dever. Michaela Elizabeth Flood. Kestra E. Greer. Heidi Suzanne Herring. Julia Erin Henderson. Patrick R. D. McLeod. Amy Lynn McQuarrie. Brianna Marsale. Catherine Jane Dawn Noseworthy. Rebecca Watson. Michaela Charlotte Wilson Wipond. For the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts in Journalism. Danielle Joseph Brown. Ben Stuart McIntosh. Jiayu Su. For the degree of Bachelor of Music. Kate Nan Elizabeth Arbing. Taylor Jane Donald. Jordan Avery Arnold McLean. Mallory Allison McInnes. Gage A. Wall. Ting Ting Wei. Thank you, Dr. Furlong. I would now like to introduce you to Dr. Rabin Bezasur, the Intern, Associate Vice President of Research and Dean of Graduate Studies. Thank you, Dr. Kanjanjik, Madam Chancellor. Together with the Dean of Arts, I have the honor to present to you, in the class of 2020, those graduate students whose names shall be announced individually and whose qualifications have been approved by the Senate for the degree of Master of Arts. Also, I have the distinct pleasure 
to present the 2020 graduate students whose names shall be announced individually and whose qualifications have been approved by the Senate for the degree of Master of Global Affairs in the Faculty of Graduate Studies. For the degree of Master of Arts. Adam Michael Brimicum. Cheryl Carmichael. Zhuyangchen Huang. Emerald Noel Naylor. For the degree of Master in Global Affairs. Tracy Burton Bravo. Claire Byrne. Jonah Kalbeck. Jocelyn Dugan. Sophia Eluyemi. Dennis Goudet. Emma McDermott. Michael Pass. Miriam Rosalis Garcia. Rosa Wagemakers. Thank you, Dr. Brissasur and Dr. Furlong. We'll now begin the presentation of graduates for, from the class of 2021. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you in the class of 2021 those students whose names shall be announced individually and whose qualifications have been approved by the Senate for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Arts Honors, Bachelor of Integrated Studies, Bachelor of Music, and Bachelor of Music Education. For the degree of Bachelor of Integrated Studies, Sean William Arsenault, Lorraine Clements, Megan Ann McNeil, Craig Darcy Sulis, Heather Maria LePage Tremblay. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Abolaji Mariam Apelogan, Chloe Arlapen. Samantha Mary Arsenault. Joanna Akosua Asante Anor. Amanda Lee Baker. Brooklyn Christina Bell. Emmanuel Bizimana. Douglas Blaisdell. Ryan William Bolter. Megan Dawn Byers. Samuel John A. Cameron Katie Campbell Stephen Douglas Carr Liam Burt Carter Sydney Christine Chevery Lauren Olivia Marion Clark Madison Mackenzie Clark Samantha Emma Clark Maria Elizabeth Clinton 
Chris Harry Craig Abigail Faith Cromwell Connor Ryan Curran Carly Dawn Stacy Delaney Yuning Tong Madison Dover Emma Drake Jordan Allison Drake Sophie Duguay P. Zach Elsinga Caitlin Rose Arlene Ford Oyinda Mola Halimat Foncho Jenna Marie Francis Gallant Paige Valerie Gallant Patrick John Gallant Husmita Devi Gopal Michaela Elizabeth Joyce Green Aaron Groman Mia Haraguchi Owen Hedrick Gavin Harry Hickey Simon Lucas Sabo Hoffley Imuetinian Grace Iase Ricky Barrett Jamer David James Jameson Catherine Isabel Margaret Jeffrey Kaylee Joyce Jenkins Yusei Kashiwagi Bethany Ann Keowen Taylor Brooke King Abby Leblanc Jody May Lewis Weiju Lin Yanni Lu Jaden Ali Lutz Samantha Dawn McAdam Benjamin Warren McCausland Allison Danielle McDonald Daniel Robert J. McDonald John Isaac Heath McDonald Holly McDougall Madeline May McInnes Cassidy Alexis McIntosh 
John Daniel McIntyre Courtney Dawn Shirley McKinnon Callie Phyllis McKinnon Lisa Diane McLean Maria Christina Thorpe McLean Jenna Amelia Carol McLeod Sarah Jean McLeod Blakeney McMurdo David Joseph Mazurek Sarah Paige McCullough Molly McHugh Madison McQuaid Rhiannon Grace McQuaid Kian Ron McTavish Lauren Patricia Morica Rachel Angeline Moore Carla Ann Moore Bhavna Mutuviran Aaron Morrison Malak Nasser Cameron Robert Joseph Nelson Theoneste Same Ngezahayo Esther Chiamaka Cuccelli Norum Ayokunle Ogunleya Hikaru Oguri Christopher John Outhouse Stephen James Plouffe Courtney Ruth Prophet Kirsten Shea Richards Melanie Ann Roll Dariel Donnell Roll Shaylin Catherine Ronahan Carolan Rossignol Alexandra Caitlin Rowell Suparshna Supal Parastu Shahsavar Haley Grace Shea Jenna Short Amanda Shin Ying Sim Caroline Simoes Correa Bizzoli Brittany Nicole Simpler Nadia Dawn Simpson Aidan Smith Elijah Mackenzie Smith Rebecca Smith Faith Laura 
Steves. Monica Maria Stewart. Amin Suleiman. Karimat Anjola Olua Suleiman. Weiqi Tang. Carissa Thompson. Brittany Lynn Trousdale. Cassidy Gemma Elizabeth Turner. Thelma Aluebube Unegbu. Anita Dumebi Uzoeto. Tabita Vilamina Maria Vanderger. Jonathan Peter Van de Voigt. Raisha Gala Vos. Zihao Wang. Alyssa Jane Weeks. Michelle Joyce Westerkamp. Cameron Paul Wheelock. George Williams. Tiffany Marie June Wanakot. Misaki Yamashita. Benjamin A. Yonker. Han Zhang. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors. Kate Patricia Bartlett. Hannah Morgan Bowley. Emma Rachel Campanaro. Emma Patricia Pitt Campbell. Eric A. Da Silva. Emma Doucette. Rachel Hamilton. Aaron Sullivan Hanna. Rosemary Mpo Misty Henbest. Jody Lynn Hayes. Andrea Dawn Mahoney. Joelle Murphy. Joy Chukwononso Nadi. Serena Marie Simpson. Brianna Squires. For the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts in Journalism. Jordan Arthur Ramsey. For the degree of Bachelor of Music. Jamie Elizabeth Gooch. Matthew Richard Kays. Jim Henry McLean. Nicholas L. Murphy. Ian Raymond Solomon. Antoinette G. Van Coteren. For the degree of Bachelor of Music Education. Tara Jane Llewellyn. Christopher Philip Perry. Thank you, Dr. Furlong. 
And once again, here's Dr. Rabin Bessasur. Madame Chancellor, together with the Deans of Arts, I have the honor to present to you in the class of 2021 those graduate students whose names shall be announced individually and whose qualifications have been approved by the Senate for the degree of Master of Arts. Also, I have the distinct pleasure to present those 2021 graduate students whose names shall be announced individually and whose qualifications have been approved by the Senate for the degree of Master in Global Affairs in the Faculty of Graduate Studies. For the degree of Master of Arts, Jacob Amarte Ashong, Louise Margaret Campbell, Pooja Kumar, J. Ian McIsaac, Satyajit Surjakant Sen, Zijiang Yang. For the degree of Master in Global Affairs, Uche Chukwu Ahanunu, Olivia Compton, Ryan Drew, Kaylee Duffy, Andrew Erskine, Jessica Fong, Kiran Goodwin, Alessandra Gramolini, Oriolua Hoda, Irma Juarez Cervantes, Sandra Juarez Yeris, Ryan Macri, Aya Neighbors, Chinwe Okwu Wolu, Sandra Otu, Anisha Raho, Hannah Skeldin. Thank you again, Dr. Bissasur. Congratulations to all of our Faculty of Arts and Masters in Global Affairs graduates. And a special thanks to all the donors and organizations who contribute to a number of graduation awards presented each year to graduates. You will see the full list of award recipients at the end of this virtual presentation. However, there are several typically presented at the convocation ceremony that I would like to highlight. Congratulations to Allison Warren, Faculty of Arts, who was for the class of 2020 the recipient of the UPI Alumni Association Graduating Student Award and the Ambrose Lee Graduation Prize for Arts for having the highest aggregate in the fourth year of the arts program, and the H. Wade McLaughlin Raised Expectations Graduation Medal for having an academic standing that has improved the most compared to their entering grades at UPI. The Dr. J. Regis Duffy Academic Achievement Award is awarded to graduating student who has demonstrated to an outstanding degree the qualities of scholarship and leadership within the university community and who is not receiving a Governor General's Medal. The winner of 2020 was from the Faculty of Arts, Laurel A. Kenny. Congratulations, Allison and Laurel Lake. For the class of 2021, I'm pleased to announce that the recipient of the UPI Alumni Association Graduating Student Award and Ambrose Lee Graduation Prize for Arts for having the highest aggregate in the fourth year of the arts program is Rachel Hamilton, who has received the Bachelor of Arts Honors in History. Congratulations, Rachel. I would like to now introduce the class valedictorian, Malak Nasser. Malak is an international student originally from Cairo, Egypt, who majored in political science and minored in history. She recently completed her term as vice president academic and external for the UPI Student Union 
and as Director of Policy for the Canadian Alliance and Student Association Board of Directors. In these roles, Malak addressed policy themes such as obstacles related to COVID-19 and issues concerning student financial aid, Indigenous students, and international students. Malak was a legislative intern for the Legislative Assembly of Prince Edward Island, Residence Life Advisor, and Delegate to several Model United Nations Conferences. Hello, UPEI. I'm Malak Nassar, your valedictorian for the Faculty of Arts for this year, and I'm honored to be joining you today from the traditional and unceded territory of the Abigail Mi'kmaq First Nation. In the true, unpredictable, and untraditional fashion of this year, I'm addressing you folks across the world, addressing family, friends, loved ones, and graduates who couldn't be here today. Being on Mi'kmaq land is a privilege. So I wanted to center my speech around something I learned the value of from Indigenous peoples, and that is the importance of community. When I think of our graduates today, so many things come to my mind, pride, perseverance, celebration, but I also think of all the challenges that everyone has faced this year. Um, I will not know them all myself, and I will not experience them all myself, but my heart goes out for all members of our community, for the collective and individual experiences that they have faced since the beginning of 2020. Today marks a huge beacon of hope. I have to admit, um, it's not what students envision their graduation would look like after going through the mental heavy lifting that is earning a degree. And it's not what our loved ones envision when it comes to celebrating us, but it is something. It's the reminder that good things find their way through despite concrete obstacles. As a student of political science, people sometimes assume that I'm part of the Faculty of Science. Uh, it makes sense, it's in the name. But this is why it's important to highlight what the Faculty of Arts is and who art students are. They are musicians, linguists, historians, politicians, economists, and the list goes on. But the most importantly, they are intellectuals and leaders. I was talking to my friends the other day about the responsibility that doctors and engineers take on towards members of their communities, and it is significant. But we must not forget that um, graduates of the Faculty of Arts engineer society and heal our communities. We fight for social justice and a world of better opportunities. We create something out of nothing. We know the value and eloquence of words and establish a balance in a world that needs more compassion, kindness, and art. Looking back at the beginning of my journey at UPEI, it's incredible that I'm standing here today. Um, I grew up in Cairo, Egypt, as the youngest of three daughters, and I want to say hi. Mama, Dedi, Eshu, Sunny, I love you and I miss you all very much. I came to UPEI for an adventure and I wanted to try something I wouldn't have traditionally done. And I was very pleasant, pleasantly surprised with the rich community of international students here who continue to inspire me throughout my journey and theirs. To those international students, I want to say, I know this year came with a lot of struggle. Being away from family, away from home, is one of the hardest things we've all done. But we've carved our places here and made something out of nothing. And for that, I'm incredibly proud of each and every one of us. I've also witnessed so many mature students who choose to come back to school, despite the challenges and the responsibilities that, they, that already create obstacles for them. To those mature students, your challenges sometimes go unnoticed, yet you continue to overcome adversities and succeed. Throughout this year, I wondered so many times if I had the luxury to take a gap year, would I have been standing here today or would I have made it through online classes? And I am kind of glad we don't know, we don't know the answer. So to our island and Canadian students, I'm proud that despite the circumstances, you've continued to push through even when it was easiest to press pause. I also want to say your kindness makes this community a better place and your voice echoes the loudest, so please remember the power of your impact. Another highlight of this community that I cannot fail to mention is our faculty and staff. Um, some of you have had great impacts on my life, on all of our lives as students, and it's easy to lose the essence and beauty of learning, mentoring, and teaching 
especially when it's all done in a systemic and colonial environment. But some of you have managed to always capture and deliver content with passion and with drive. And I have to say, students notice. We notice and we appreciate it. We grow from it. It becomes more than enrolling into a course at the beginning of the semester and getting a grade at the end of the semester. It goes back to that essence and beauty of what we're all here to do. Thank you for the unpre un unappreciated and intricate syllabi, for the class discussions, and for your investment into your students. Everyone graduating today is going to move on to new things. Uh, some of us have plans and some of us don't, and that's okay. Either way, we have to celebrate our incredible achievements today. Some of us will move on to be students, and some of us will want to experience and do other things. But at the end of the day, wherever we end up, we will learn and we will grow, and the cycle continues. I am so grateful to have shared the experiences that I have alongside every and each incredible person graduating today. And I wish you folks kindness along your journey and more milestones, and most importantly, good health. Every time I walk around campus and see some of the dandelions that grow through the sidewalks, um, I'll think of our achievements and how we, like the dandelions, made it through concrete obstacles. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to speak to you today, and congratulations to the class of 2020 and the class of 2021. Thank you, Malik, for those inspiring words to your fellow graduates. Class of 2020 and Class of 21, I want to congratulate each and every one of you on your graduation from the University of Prince Edward Island during what has been an unprecedented time. I think it is safe to say that 2021 has been the most challenging time in our history. Graduates, you adjusted very quickly to a new way of learning, working, and living. In the face of uncertainty, you demonstrated the resilience, patience, and perseverance. To the parents, partners, family members, and friends of our graduates, I extend a sincere thank you for your steadfast support. Your encouragement has been invaluable to our graduates' success. I would like to thank our dedicated faculty and staff who taught and mentored our students over the course of their studies, challenging them and preparing them to contribute to society. Graduates, you're now a part of an extended family of over 26,000 UPL alumni around the world. You're Panthers for life. Please do not ever be strangers. Do keep in touch with UPI as you go out into the world to reach your full potential. We all look forward to following your success. This concludes our online presentations of graduates for the classes of 2020 and 21. Again, congratulations, our arts graduates. We're very proud of each and every one of you.